qualifying. Uh, he has good experience uh, running elections, and uh, he will uh, give, you, give you good advice. With the folks that uh, have, have been elected, we also need to be looking uh, at uh, 2014. Uh, what's going to happen in 2014 is uh, the members of the House of Representatives at the national level uh, will be up for re-election. And our US, one of our U.S. Senators, Saxby Chambliss, will be up for re-election. It is important, therefore, to um, stay engaged uh, with our senators and representatives and with the folks that we've sent to Atlanta as well. Uh, in 2010, most of Lowndes, almost all of Lowndes County uh, was moved into uh, House District uh, 8. Uh, you probably got a mailing uh, from Austin Scott out of, out of Tifton, a uh, Republican, uh, who is our state representative uh, for everything except a little uh, bit of Lowndes County uh, around Moody Air Force Base that's still in, in Jack Kingston's district. I think it's important uh, to uh, contact your uh, senator and state representative to keep pressure on them uh, simply to offset the pressure that they're feeling from the extreme right wing of the Republican Party. And so I think that, that Austin Scott and Saxby Chambliss are uh, susceptible to, to pressure from voters. And since you're their constituents, uh, keep, that, keep that pressure up. And then, of course, do stay in touch with uh, our uh, state senator uh, and uh, state representatives and, and especially uh, the... Um, uh, the newly, newly elected uh, Dexter, Dexter Sharper, uh, he is a Democrat, he is responsive to people's concerns, uh, he needs our support, uh, so uh, do keep in touch with him as well. Thank you very much. And Wynn Roberson will bring us a membership report. I'd like to say good afternoon to evening to you all, first of all. And uh, my name's Wynn Roberson. I'm the newly selected, elected uh, vice chair of membership. And it gives me a great pleasure to be here in that position. First of all, I'd like to thank Mr. McClendon for uh, pretty well uh, blazing this trail for me and I'm uh, taking his position. If we could give him a... Uh, around the clock. Thank you very much. And I hope that we can get a, a pause after you hear what I have to say. One of my positions here is vice chair of membership. And with that, I'm learning entails a lot of things. But the thing I'm going to ask you today is membership. I had the opportunity to uh, help with an election this last cycle. And one of the things that was disheartening to me was to see how people, Democrats in particular, struggle with finances, asking people to help. A lot of these people took money out of their pockets. Now, I'm not saying that we can totally fund a campaign, but I think we as a party, Lowndes County Democratic Party, can help. And that's where I come today. With that, I talk with the chair here, and in the upcoming year, 2013, we'd like to spread the knowledge here in the, in the Democratic Party. And the only way we can do that is by word of mouth and sometimes publishing things in the paper over the radio. And I am totally committed to this. And that's why I come up today to ask you all, to, if you haven't 
got one of these forms already, to please look at it and take one with you. And also, if you'll do a, another thing, is put your number on the board because I'd like to contact you. I'd, I'd like to start off, uh, I'm going to start 2013 with these two chicks that I've gotten. And uh, I thank them for presenting it to me. But if, if I could uh, share something with you. I retired from the military, Walter Reed, and uh, very short here. One of the people that I met that, that have pretty well uh, done a lot for me and who I try and pattern myself a lot after is one lady. She, I think her name was Miriam. Don't know her last name. But she was a Thursday patient. And Thursday patient was uh, head and neck oncology. So anytime these people come in on this Thursday, you know that they've been through a lot of testing and they were there for a reason. And this woman, they called her the rock lady. She was a bona fide, proud gypsy. Never met a, a gypsy before that I knew of, but she always let people know that she was 100% gypsy. They called her the rock lady. And the reason they called her that is because she always gave out little polished colored rocks. Beautiful. And a lot of people were a bit embarrassed to get these rocks rock from this lady. But the thing is, she gave them out to people who did something for her. As I said, Thursday was head and neck on college. And she always came in with the brightest smile, never in a hurry to get out of the clinic. And the, and the thing is, one thing I took from the rock lady is her saying that whatever you're going through, always give it your best. And I was trying to think what I'm going to say when I got up here. And that's one of the things that, that stuck with me, the rock lady. She always gave her best. With whatever obstacle she was facing, she pressed through it. So what I'm going to ask you all to do, and, and I don't have any rocks to give anyone, but what I can say is that I will do my best in this position to stand up to the plate to spread what I'm here for at membership and also to ask you all to help with this. I know that was uh, confusing, but thank you very much. I don't know if any of you know uh, Wynn very well, but I highly encourage you to get to know our new membership uh, chair there. He's uh, quite a hardworking fellow. I can recommend him. Um, DeMarcus Marshall asked if he could address you, so I will next invite DeMarcus. Good evening, Democrats. Good evening. How's everybody doing? I wanted to thank everybody personally again. It's a new year, 2013. I faced my very first work session this morning. It was very nice, uh, very pleasurable. Only thing is, it wasn't that packed. I hope tomorrow evening, during our regular normal meeting at 5.30, that it is packed. And, and I say that because I'm a person that believes in having the citizens you know, very active in their government. That's how I won, that's what I ran on. You know, it is amazing when you, when I think back to, you know, when I first chose to run, I ran because I wanted to make a difference. And I would go even further to tell you, I didn't know my term limit was suggested to be two years or what have you. You know, which, you know, maybe think about it when you announce those that are up for re-election in 2014 as a commission because they want to have it staggered. But these are some things to think about because two years ago, District 4 and District 5 was supposed to be elected on and the people were supposed to be in those positions. District 2, 3, and 4 were supposed to serve four-year terms. But it didn't happen two years ago. 
This is something to think about, okay? Ironically, I get a, a letter from the governor today that says uh, DeMarcus Marshall, Super District 4, commissioner is to serve from January 1, 2013 to January 1, 2017. So, I, I mean, I don't know what's going to come of it. I don't know what's going to come of it because, of course, you have some that feel that it, you know, uh, it might be incorrect or whatever. I, I don't know. But I'm just putting that out there for you all to know. Uh, as well, in keeping with my campaign promise, I want to meet with numerous organizations and groups prior to our budget retreat, which is scheduled February, uh, the third week of February, because I want to take the ideas and concerns of the community with me to the budget retreats. If you do not take the concerns and issues to the budget retreats, everything you're doing is just basically establishing a list to carry on from year to year to year to year. So if you want to make a difference in your community, I highly suggest that you and your organization or what have you, neutral grounds or what have you, let's sponsor some type of political forum because I want to invite the uh, other commissioners as well as some of the city council if they would come so we can get input to take to the budget retreats. Therefore, we can put money behind the concerns and issues that exist in Lowndes County. And like I said, tomorrow we have a meeting at 5.30. It'll be my very first official meeting that I participate in. I look forward to seeing everybody. Thanks again. I can attest that that meeting was not very well attended this morning. In fact, one of the new commissioners was late, and it wasn't DeMarcus. <laughs> um... Now we come to the part of the meeting where we have members wishing to be heard. So if any of our members might want to say something to the rest of our members, I would be happy to have them come to the microphone. Anybody have anything they want to say to us? Something that you learned great lately over the holidays or you want us to focus on? No? Okay. Any old business? Anything that we didn't take care of last time that we should be taking care of? Any new business? Our next regular meeting will be February the 4th. Our special speaker will be Dr. Groh. He's going to give us a general talk on the health department. What does the health department do? Um, what are their responsibilities? How big are they? What's their staff like? Sort of an overview. Um, and then he's going to come back later in the year and talk to us about the Affordable Health Care Act. So we're going to get to hear from Dr. Groh twice this year. The first time will be February the 4th. Um, we will also anticipate hearing from um, Jim Galloway from the airport, uh, Johnny Ball from the Planning Commission, George Page from Parks and Recreation. Uh, if you have somebody in particular that you want to hear from in the government, let me know, and I will invite them. But upcoming, our next meeting, February the 4th, 6 o'clock, here, and I will see you then. Yes, sir? I have one. Should you think I should bring it? Yeah. Okay. I'll bring it. It's on the shelf in the office. Would you like to be adjourned? <laughs> We're adjourned. <laughs>